China's constitution says, Taiwan is part of the sacred territory of the People's Republic of China. It is the inviolable duty of all Chinese people, including our compatriots in Taiwan, to accomplish the great task of reunifying the motherland. And in 2005, China passed a law stating that if the possibilities for a peaceful reunification should be completely exhausted, the state shall employ non-peaceful means and other necessary measures. So China is legally committed to war and thus to some extent must prepare for it. Of course, it's not framed as invasion, but reunification. And to understand why, we need the backstory. After the end of the Second World War, China entered a bloody civil war between the Nationalists, or KMT, and the Chinese Communist Party. When the Communists triumphed, the KMT fled to Taiwan and stayed there, imposing martial law with the backing of the US. So there were two Chinas, the People's Republic of China on the mainland and the Republic of China on Taiwan, both claiming to represent one China. Things got more complicated in 1979 when the US formally recognized the People's Republic of China. As a result, it now maintained only unofficial relations with Taiwan, although Congress did sign a bill to supply it with defensive weapons. Since then, the US has regarded the Taiwan question as unsettled and has not explicitly committed to its defense, a policy known as strategic ambiguity. Strategic ambiguity has actually worked pretty well so far, but two long-term trends are making it more difficult. First, Taiwan became a democracy. And with that democracy, there's been a growing sense of Taiwanese, not Chinese, identity on the island, especially in opposition to the authoritarian system of communist rule on the mainland. Second, mainland China became much more rich and much more powerful and started spending big on its military. China under President Xi Jinping has been much more assertive. It's launched a brutal crackdown in Xinjiang, detaining around a million Uyghurs and other minorities. In the South China Sea, reefs have been militarized, with airfields built. Hong Kong has been brought under tight control. The protests of 2019 have been crushed, a national security law introduced, and the already meager pro-democracy opposition vanquished. So when Xi Jinping said this, resolving the Taiwan question and realizing China's complete reunification is a historic mission and an unshakable commitment of the Chinese Communist Party. It's no surprise that people are taking the risk of war very seriously.